Ladies and gentlemen, here at Arena Zagreb, FFC 27 Night of Champions, this is the co-main event of the evening. Three five-minute championship rounds for the vacant FFC light heavyweight title. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 92.3 kilograms with a professional record of 13 wins and five losses, including eight victories by knockout. A former Bellator competitor fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, USA. He is Jeremy Grizzly Campbell. <laughs> and introducing his opponent, fighting no, out of the red wait, corner with an official weight of 93.3 kilograms and a professional record of 25 wins, six losses and one draw with the majority of those victories attained via stoppage. Fighting out of Dubrovnik, Croatia, he is Mato Gladiator Petak. Taking charge of the action at the bell, your referee, Mr. Grant Waterman. Well, a lot of anticipation, a big build up to this. Like you I said, guys, will, any questions they, for me? will the fight take yourselves in the times. song? Listen to my Eight words. Knockouts the man all times. there with 18 Keep fights. The fight away from the ropes. Come here. If I say stop, Gentlemen, you stop. Touch Grizzly, gloves. Get ready for war. In the blue against right Maro back. Gladiator, or also known as the Mean Machine, Perak. So, you know. Quoting both our sayings, you're saying we keep the boss say it. Don't blink. Here we go. You ready? You ready? Right, Let's fight. Some stern, stern instructions there to keep these two fighters under control. Both very, very up for it in this light heavyweight clash for an FFC title. Scheduled, as they say, for three five minute rounds. When or if it goes the distance. Jeremy goes with the first high kick, high point, then goes downstairs. Low centre of gravity there for Maro Petra. Puts the side kick into the lead leg, then goes upstairs and back into the leg. Looking for the wrestle, gets comes on the inside. It's a double in the hook, high press in the lower back. Takes the, takes the leg, tries to scoot on behind. He went for that three times, didn't he? He got it on the third. Persistence pays is one of my sayings. And he's just proved that very simply. Trying to use the, use the forearm pressure across the throat. Looking for the ground and pound straight away. Trying to ground and pound from half guard. Very little active work being, being done by Jeremy. And starts looking for a heel hook. Oh, nice. Wiggled out of that nicely. But he's got a, got a small cut just at the side of the left eye already, so there's already conflict that has had a result. He lets him stand up. That's very gracious. Jeremy wants to be on his feet. Well, the striking, the striking tends to suit, normally suit the younger, younger man. Oh, nice. Dangerous up Almost like, yeah, an up front kick there to the face. We've seen fighters get taken out with that. It's a dangerous, underestimated kick, isn't it? It appears like they're just flicking the leg up in the air, but no, yeah, can knock people out. <laughs> Apparently, Steven Seagal taught that to uh, Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva, right. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Again, going for that leg trip. Looking for the Ochi oh, Gary major outer reap in judo throw. <laughs> nice knee there from Jeremy. Oh, and again, a tri nice trip from the back end. It's almost replaying again there in his own corner, getting his opponent falls, in his own corner. And he falls into the triangle. <laughs> Got out with a nice up kick to the face. Oh, and again, do you know what? That is fast. Light heavyweights moving very quickly here at FFC. And again, three up kicks. And again, four. Maro needs to be using more hip pressure to control his feet. He should be posturing back to avoid that up kick. But he's managed to get through this time. But Jeremy's been able to sit in his 
We did have a right elevator in there. The, uh, the butterfly guard swings around trying to attempt for an armbar. Just less than two minutes left, and again the up kicks come up. Strike with Venom. Marrow looking, looking for the leg drag pass. Sits back down into guard. A nice clash of styles again here, isn't there, Richard? This is what makes Keep fights away from the ropes. Yeah. more perfect, isn't it, when you've got styles make fights? <laughs> this is what we're we talking about. And, uh, dangerous triangle attempt there by Jeremy. Jeremy's having a lot of success with these up kicks. He certainly is. Fighting from his back. To get past him this time. Takes it back. Starts sitting his left arm underneath the chin. Got no hooks, got no control. Less than a minute remaining, round one. Nice left hook to the face. And the pound tempting the knee, just deflecting the shoulder. Jeremy doing this, doing the smart thing. Keep touching the floor so that you can get kicked in the head or need in the head. And we've got to the 32nd mark now of round one. <laughs> Certainly the game is on but again with another title fight here. Great matchmaking. Rolls him over. <laughs> 20 seconds remains. Good work getting to mount. <laughs> Attempted to stand up, but nullified. Ten second goes down. Maro stands over him. The up kick comes in again. Goes with a low Stop. kick. That was a good tactic. Well, Maro has a little bit of a longer walk back, but it's time to take some oxygen in. And the Grizzly sits down. Well, that was an interesting first round, Richard. I'm going to go straight on to the uh, judging seat. How, how, how did you score that? Well, uh, for, the, for the work rate, for the takedowns, um, I'm going to go with Maro. No, 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 no. OK, right. I'm, going to, I'm just going to do something different. I'm, I'm actually going to go... Oh, yeah, I see what you see, but you know, I say what you see, but I think... I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go blue because I'm getting a lot of effect from, um, for as much as Barrow was getting into position, I, I felt that Jeremy was getting out and he was striking. And I know strikes don't, you know, take down the big scores and things, but he did manage to nullify quite a few of them. And I think, and there were, and I could possibly go 10-10 actually. And, probably not and 10. also, also there was the triangle Sorry. attempts that we have to... Here we go, you ready? Yeah. True. You ready? Let's fight. So, I'm giving it a 10-10. Richard just sees a little bit of daylight from the red corner. He's going to go 10-9. Let's see how it plays out. Round two. More fighters with visible evidence of conflict. Blood from the nose. A lot of marking. Nice roll. Nice roll from Jeremy. Very good shoot there from Maro. Look at that. Now just <laughs> like cycling kicks coming there from the Grizzly. That's the way to do it. That's the way. So anyway, grab one leg and, yeah. So a good job there. Yeah, yeah. Soccer kick. Soccer kicking round onto the legs. Yeah, he's found a way, hasn't he, now, from those up kicks. Imagine to... Oh, solid. Big round and pound there. Trying to use that leg drag pass again. Pass there, nice scissor sweep there from Jeremy. Oh, that was slick. Got the underhook in, has he? Mar Marrow's got, got a single, single leg, yeah. yeah. Take down he goes again. Single. Well done. The danger of the guillotine here. Marrow should be putting pressure on the, on the elbow. Should be using his left arm to the elbow. Oh, yeah. Well, I that well. I think, I think Jeremy basically is going to get his hands out a little. Again from Jeremy. Trying to go back into it. Yours. 
Well, the cornerman haven't got to show too much because they're not in the era of their opponent. Have they brought, sorry, have they brought it? Have they brought it? Have they brought it? Have they brought it? Stop, stop. Stand up, guys. Okay, so. Grant. It's a little low on the ass, wasn't going anywhere. Stands them back up. Halfway through round two. Three five minute rounds. Both guys have been very respectful of each other now. Pace is definitely slow. Yeah, hands on the hips there. That's odd. You get a bit of tightness, but you know, it has been a lot of action, a lot of wrestling, a lot of striking. We've got both going on here in this fight. Richard, it's uh, again, great clash of styles. Styles make fights, and the whole night's been around that for me. It's been really, really good. Great matchmaking. And made it very proud, entertaining, pleasing. Yeah, having a moment there, just having a little rest, aren't they? But both guys just trying to get some recovery in there. Three gone, two left. Let's go, let's see some action. Yeah, Grant, the uh, strike success. Come on, guys. Have some action. One minute 40 to go. We lost the lost the spring, lost the snap. Crowd is starting to get frustrated and whistling. Yeah. Jeremy throwing some boxing. But again, neither guy getting a foothold on the fight with from a from a striking perspective. The dominant force so far is being Maro with his uh, with his with his wrestling and uh, wrestling and takedowns. So less than a minute remaining, round two. Foot off the pedal, as you've said, and having a round and a half of all action of ground and striking. It's a, probably have taken a full minute of just. Let's basically. go, let's see some action. And again, the call from Grant Waterman needs action right for herself. 30 seconds remaining. Should be a hopeful sprint finish for one of these two. At the end of round two, looking for the single, stepping back. Trying to get the takedown. Rizlin sustaining that for the moment. Great defence by Jeremy. Yeah, kept his balance. Marrow's got the underhooks, leaning his pressure in. Last few seconds now. Stop! Attempting a Superman punch right on the bell. <laughs> The grizzly bear takes off. <laughs> Remember, this is a title fight. Both fighters, look at the look at the body language. Both of them slumped in the chairs. And they'll get a minute now to recover. Both these fighters probably, I'm guessing, Richard, have done a lot of the knockouts and stoppages in earlier earlier rounds, ones and twos and probably haven't reached the third round so many times. But the, the way that they, they've been working on each other, you can see how that would have happened. I mean, they, these are some of the danger shots that we're seeing in the, in the action replay. Visibly tired now, both fighters, understandably. But this is when it now comes down. The ball taking a deep breath of oxygen. Here we go, you ready? Ready? Let's fight! So third and final round. A close fight, but Richard's still... Do you feel, Richard, still that um, red corner is ahead? Um, I would have given that last round a, as a draw because, well... Yeah, there's, pure, yeah. Pure, purely down to the, the lack of work as, as the energy levels died off towards the end of the round. Um, it negated the success that, that Maro had had with, the, with his wrestling. Um, and, he, and he almost allowed, allowed Jeremy to get back into the fight. So round one, red. Round two, even. So red is just slightly ahead. So the third round 
could change things if Grizzly Bear can just step it up a little bit and just catch that little Let's go, let's see some action. Small lead red corner has got. You can hear the frustration in the, in the crowd in the, as they're starting to whistle. Very educated crowd, the FFC, aren't they? We all are. And they do give praise to any fighter from any country in the world, they always do. First was, oh, nice elbow. Cheeky little nice elbow, that wasn't it? Yeah. From Grizzly. And Grizzly's been able to stuff Marrow's, Marrow's wrestling. He's quashed and squashed it, hasn't he? He's um, yeah, he's never fight it and uh, nearly goes through the ropes there. Stop, 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 stop. Stand up. Well, he does go through. Yeah, the squash is all set. <laughs> face up, face up. You know, Let's fight. A, a quick route to the belt, because they're actually on that table, Richard. So. <laughs> but he's going to have to fight for it. Some dangerous left kicks there by Marrow, trying to take that right hand away. Two minutes gone, three left, third and final. Solid low kick from Jeremy. He's more around the side of the knee, so some dangerous work there. Again, that's a, that's a second heavy low kick. Again, the crowd whistling, which basically means, come on, guys. I'd rather hear whistling than booing, no, that's a sign of a seasoned professional crowd, as we've just mentioned. Okay, he manages to sustain and maintain his balance against that single leg take -down. Good body shot. Well, the man who's actually just, to me, he's just he's picking away again, isn't he, Jeremy? He's like, yeah. Um, Jeremy's certainly yeah. fought, fought his way back into it. The heavy, heavy right hook to the body there. Was. Oh, let's give him a system check. Wobbled him. With this gimmick, this could change things, you know. Personally, I think he's ahead now. Two, three, five, four. And there's a minute and 40 seconds left now. And he does look, he's the fitter of the two, isn't he? I think it's stamina that's going to win this, you know, yeah. Richard. And I think Jeremy just, even though they both took that big breath in the middle, they both deserved it. Um, it seems this man has got a, very got a bit more in the tank. Yeah, he's got a dangerous crucifix. <laughs> Morrow's been able to step his arm out. Jeremy doing a great job using that head control, Ooh, controlling the nice. chin. Look at that. Drop it, dropping elbows. Drop the elbow, sliced in that elbow. Nice third in from the hand. Hand to elbow. <laughs> that, getting that shoulder pressure back. Dropping the elbow. Pinning the arm down. Getting the cross face. Looking for the Kimura on the far side. Stepped over into mount. Looks for the ground and pound. Elbow, elbow, elbow. Marrow elbow. offering his arms to the, to the submission specialist. Going out sorry, seal, time's now coming. For Marrow, from Jeremy as he piles down. Some heavy shot. Confident now, the man on top. This could all be over, you know. 35 seconds. Grant's looking very closely at this. The head's going between the rocks. He might have to bring him back. Seven, eight, nine, unanswered shot. 10, 11, 12. I think he's gone. No, he's turning back in towards him. Very tough work here by Marrow. And he is, he's got to stop, it is. He's right, it had to do. Wow. OMV, oh my buddha. <laughs> What a tough man on the floor. Heavy ground and pound work. Yeah, and Marrow, look at that, he looks, wow. He's just looked at us, smiled, shook his head and gone, wow. Okay. Respect to that man, wow. He's looking at us. <laughs> wow, he's looking at us, shaking his head and smiling at us. Is it for, <laughs> is it for is it, so, yeah. Wow. You know what? He deserves a piece of that belt. <laughs> certainly does. Wow. Look at the blood pours from his eyes, and he waves to the crowd yeah. so much to say, you know what, I did my best. I gave it my best. And Grant was very fair to him. Look, there we go, look at this. It just, and it, it wasn't so much unanswered, it was just tiredness. It yeah. was like, you know, how long can lack you defend of, for? Lack of, lack of activity, lack of defense. 
<laughs> and a very grand bow there by Jeremy. Well, Jeremy, the grizzly bear takes a nice circular bow. Well, it went the distance. And the Americans have done well tonight. They're going home with two belts, Richard. Taking some, taking some silverware back there across the go. pond. Yes. Credit where it's due. Well, a very marked up. Ladies and very gentlemen, worthy gladiator. Due to Grand and Pound, referee Grant Waterman calls a stop to this contest at four minutes and 44 seconds into round number three. 444. Declaring your winner and the new FFC light heavyweight champion, Jeremy Grizzly Kimball. Well, United States have represented well here tonight, Richard. I've been very impressed with them. I don't get much chance and to watch the Americans the fight live. Belt. I've been impressed. FFC President Orsat Zavko. Let's hope we can do it in Vegas, Richard. I think we'd go down very well over there. Thank you.